All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. And today we've got Aaron in the chair. How are you doing, mate? Yes, good. Yourself? I'm very well, I'm very well. So, what's the plan? What are we doing today? Um, so, you're looking to do like quite a short crew cut okay. um, with like a high uh, skin fade. Okay. So, I was thinking something a bit like this. Is that Charlie Irons, is it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, he comes off on my like, Instagram all yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, like kind of not kind of like buzz cut short. Like, I still want kind of like a bit of texture. Right. Okay, you do know it won't look anything like that then, though? Uh, in terms of... <laughs> the whole hair, Because and that's probably about three on top. Yeah. So, if you're showing me that image and then you want something else, just remember it won't look like that. Is it possible to go kind of that short, but like with scissors? Yeah, it is, but it makes absolutely no difference to that length. Now, okay. a centimetre with a clipper or a centimetre with a scissor makes absolutely no difference. Yeah. It's just the length. Okay. All, all they both do, all the tools do is remove length. There's no difference at all. So what would the scissor, what would be the reason for a scissor over a clipper? Um, just to give it like a little bit more texture, I guess. Um, it wouldn't give texture okay. at a centimetre. Yeah, texture okay. is removal of length with, with, with either a thinning scissor, a razor, or, or a scissor. Yeah. But like mm. the way you cut into the hair is what gives texture, not the, not the overall length. Yeah. So if you wanted that haircut, you, you kind of have to go for that haircut. Otherwise yeah. it won't look anything like it. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've got that wave coming through to your hair. Yeah. Mm. So if we leave it a bit longer, it won't look as much like a crew cut, yeah. if you get what I mean. It'll look more like a, like a, like a grown out yeah. buzz cut in a sense, or a crop. So do you, do you know what texture is? Do you know, do you know actually know what the word texture means? No. So I feel like it gets thrown around a lot, but no one really actually understands what it is. Mm. Do you get what it is? Not, probably not particularly. Okay. <laughs> what texture is, is a removal of length in different areas. So you have placements of the overall length, which is the cut. So like we call primary shape. And then texture is what we call secondary shape. So the primary shape is the cut done. Yeah. Then the secondary shape is where you start picking bits up of hair and you cut bits of either halfway through to give lift, at the very root to go, cause collapse. You can spiral the hair and create a ribbon effect. It, it's basically removal of, of, of secondary length within right. the haircut. At a centimetre, absolutely impossible to do. Okay. It'll just look like we've took chunks out the top of your hair. Yeah. So if you want to go for a crew cut like that, we have to commit to that length yeah. and go for a crew cut or we then have to look at something else. Yeah. Okay. So if you, if you are you after something that's more longer on top? Um, I'm not quite sure. Do you think would that short sort of suit my face shape? Do you think? Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know until we do it. If I'm honest with you, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't suggest going too high on the sides though. Yeah. That's one thing I wouldn't suggest. It probably would suit you if we kept the if we kept the fade lower. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, right? If you look at your face shape, right? If I put, I put the orange comb on so you can kind of see, right? If you look at your face shape, right? We need to do that to get the best out of your face shape. Yeah. That angle there. If we go high, what we end up doing is collapsing it like that. Okay. And you, can you see how much that collapses at the, at the round of your yeah. head? It really collapses. So if we go to like a high skin fade or a high one or half, then we've only got a very short area to blend, yeah. which is like a finger width. Yeah. Which I haven't got the head shape to come up and off. Yeah. Because it, colla cause it does concave quite a lot there it would end up going right over. And I feel like that would make your face really wide. Okay. Because the shorter we go up here, the wider your face looks. Yeah. Mm. So no, it probably wouldn't work if you went too high. Charlie's face shape is completely different to us. Yeah. Have, you got a, have you got a front on picture of Charlie by any chance? Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, his face shape's slightly different. Like, if you look at the height of that, I personally don't think that goes as well as what it would do if it was a bit lower down. Yeah. Mm. I think for you. Because it looks good for him because his face is a bit longer. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So his suit's having that shorter crop. Yeah. Um, and his, his hairline's a little bit higher up as well as you get away with that kind of thing. It's a quite Ryan Reynolds-y, that, isn't it? When, yeah. he's, when he shaved it off. He's got a very similar face shape to Ryan Reynolds, so you can kind of see why it works. Yeah. So yeah, um, happy to keep like the foil fade a bit lower then. Um, could we like start with like kind of like a short scissor crop like first, and then if I wanted to go for like a three or something? Yeah, that's fine. if you want to. Yeah, that's fine. You, so you don't want the same length on the sides in the back as him. Uh, so still like a, um, still like a. I mean, if you think like, like a lower foil fade would be better. Happy to do that. That's not a foil fade on his hair, by the way. Uh, okay, so that's yeah. probably about a half, a 0.5 on the sides. Okay. Of his. Do you want? Do you want to go shorter than that? Uh, yeah. So um, like a foil fade on the sides. Right. And then yeah, if you think keep the fade lower, then yeah, that would be. That would yeah, be I mean, I can go higher if you want. Like you're you're in charge of this, right? I'm only giving you my advice. Yeah. If you want the fade to go high, I can take it high for you. I just want you to know that it's not about what I should, what I think. It's what your face is telling me to do. Yeah. Okay. This is telling me exactly how to do the sides yeah. and the back of your hair. If you want to go higher, that's totally down to yeah. you. 
Uh, no, you're the expert. I will... <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. You don't want to go any higher than here. Yeah, okay. Okay, because we need that area to blend. We need them two fingers to be able to blend because at the third finger, that's when it collapses. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So yeah, probably it's about here. Uh, on the top itself, right, it's already quite short at the back. Yeah. The only length you've got really is at the front through yeah. here. So how short do you want me to go with the scissors? Um, I guess like a length I could just put a bit of uh, product in. Okay. Um, so kind of, I guess like a, just a shorter version of what I've got now really, like a kind of very short textured version. Okay. Probably finger length is, is, the, is what I'd go to about that. Yeah, okay. But as you can see at the back, it's still very short at the yeah. back. The fringe is where all the length is. Do you want to leave more length at the front still, or do you want to cut it like as though it's a crew cut? Uh, probably more towards a crew cut. I right, think. okay, okay, cool. All right, then we'll, what we'll do is I'll cut it to finger length on the top, yeah. um, mm -hmm. and that will give you more of a kind of a longer style. It's a bit like a, it's roughly maybe like an inch on a yeah. length or something, then we can, then we can texturize that. Length, yeah. All right, then if you want to take it off with a three, yeah. or something like that, yeah, we can do that. All right, good. Cool, man. Right, so, I'm gonna start by cutting the top on Aaron's here. Now, the thing that's gonna make this look different to what he's already got now, because the back isn't that long, much longer than what we're gonna cut the whole top to. The thing that will change this though, is how we cut the fringe in. So, you know, usually on a haircut like Aaron's, it's usually longer at the front. That's what gives that bulk through here, like that kind of crop sort of hairstyle. But on a, on a more crew cut, buzz cut, whatever you kind of wanna use the term wise, you follow the head shape around. So as you can see, look, the last cut you can see has done that. And you see the elevation from the tip of my finger is obviously going against the round of the head. But when we do this on a crew cut, we follow the round of the head. Now that's what creates that look, all right? So that's what we're gonna do for Aaron's hair. We're gonna follow the shape, so that's gonna give him a shorter fringe, which is gonna give him more of a crew cut effect. So again, if you're a little bit nervous about going something like a three or something like that, uh, or even just whipping it all off in, in general, Try doing it this way. Try just getting a finger length on top, following the shape of the head, and creating almost like a crew cut uh, in, in, in style and in length. A finger length is always good because we can still texturize it then, so we can still cut into it. We can still give him a little bit of movement. So if he wants to put a little bit of clay in, and a little bit of paste or something, one of his existing products, then he can still do that as well. Does that sound good with you, Aaron? Yeah, all good. Yeah, sweet man. We'll start off by cutting in a profile guide. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, again, quite important that we're working on the shape of the head. This is the best and easiest way to do this. Down the middle, just slightly off to the right because I'm working from the right hand side. And then I'm gonna cut in my shape now. So we're going for a finger uh, height. Okay, so you can see it's not that much shorter than what he's already got. But this is where the difference looks. So this is where we start to go shorter now. You can see all that length coming off here. Working from the back on the right hand side, I'm going to use that guide from the left hand side now to create a length all over. So you do the profile on a club cut or a blunt cut just because that's the guide. And then the rest I do point cut just to give that little bit of more texture to this to this haircut. Just so it isn't sitting completely straight and blunt. What's made you decide to change up then? Are it a summer cut or? Yeah, I always get sort of bored with it about every two to three months. I oh, kind okay. of want to, want to do something different. Nice. So what, what, what have you done different over the years then? Oh, it's been every, every length imaginable. Oh, has it? Yeah, uh, oh, nice. So you've buzzed it off before? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, down to like a two. All right, cool. How did you find that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of, it was okay, it was during COVID. Oh yeah, yeah, um, nice, nice. But then like since then, like I've lost quite a lot of weight and so my face shape has kind of changed a bit. And so I don't really know if it would, like how well it would suit me kind of again. Okay, okay. Well, you're looking extremely lean in the face, mate. So uh, <laughs> it would definitely suit you, 100%. I think you just gotta be be confident and comfortable to go for it, that's all. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things is there is no going back, you know? Yeah. Once it's it, once it's uh, that first bit of the guard has run over the front, mate, there's no going back. But now this is a nice length. This is a good length to, to sort of, you know, as the stop gap before you decide to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, um, it is just a finger. It's, a, it's probably about number eight, this one. Like yeah. if we're looking at numbers, you know? Um, it's roughly about an inch, I'd say, on top. And then obviously we, we kind of just add a bit more texture to it as we go along. 
But as you can see, it's still his finger length as well through that corner, which is where the concave is. So that's what allows me to keep the face shaping. I'm going to find our guide, which is there. I'm going to work across. You can see my fingers are working around the head, because obviously we're going shorter. But as we get to this point here, I kind of basically skip the corner. So where the round of the head is just underneath here, that's when I move to a lot more of a vertical section. So horizontal all the way through the top. And then we get to that vertical. So we just miss that, that round of the head out. That's how we kind of keep a corner in when you're doing a short haircut, essentially. This is where the length starts to come in now. As we get just past that apex, that's where we start noticing the difference in the length coming a little longer towards the front. Check, making sure the length's the same. See, there's that little gap that I miss out there, just that bit there with my knuckles. Quite short at the crown anyway, so I'm gonna work into that. There we go. There we go. So that's the difference of what you had before yeah. to what you got now. So that's exactly sort of a finger. In, um, in length on the top, okay? Obviously, it all depends on whose fingers are cutting your hair, like, obviously. <laughs> Mine got the largest of hands, so it's, uh, it's probably gonna be a nice short cut, which is good. And then what we do now is, coming from the front, I point cut at the root to give the texture at this length, like that. That makes it less noticeable, but as you can see, it takes off a lot of the bulk, the thickness, and that's what creates the movement and the separation in a short haircut like this. Just nice and sporadic all the way through. And then across the top now. So under the comb first, and then across the top of the comb. And this is how you create texture. Obviously, if you're doing a number three, you won't be able to do this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then we can slide cut as well, straight forwards, all the way down. So again, you can put quite a lot of texture in a short cut like this, okay? And you can bring hair across and just work the scissors across as well. Uh, just make sure the hair is nice and wet though when you do this. Don't do it dry because it's very painful. And I just work the scissor down as I'm cutting as well, just like that. And that will give you a nice choppy finish. You'll see that come in as soon as it dries off, but also you can start, kind yeah. of start to see it coming through a little bit now. So before we do the back and sides, yeah. mm. what are you thinking about the length on the top? Do you want to go shorter or? What um, do you think? I think like I'd probably, would it still work to kind of like push it up? So like rather than kind of it coming down like a crop, it's more kind of, so if I wanted to like when I dry it, just kind of. You should have told me you wanted it up before we started, bud. Um, Cause we can't really get that up. Okay. You can wear it messy and kind of textured, yeah. but you're not going to get it up as a fringe. 
Yeah, I know, not like as a fringe as such, but just like, right. rather than kind of straight down. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. I mean, that was only down because I probably drive yeah. it forwards. Obviously, you can stand how you want, but is that length okay for you? Oh uh, yeah, the length you... is, I think the length is good. Yeah, no, I like the, like the length. Yeah, you sound a little bit like there's a book coming. No, I'm just trying to think how like shorter might my look. We're not going to be able to put <clears throat> much more texture in if we go shorter. Yeah. Okay. We've already cut quite a lot of texture in now. Yeah. Mm. So, but if you want to wear your fringe, if you want to wear it up yeah. like that, you've, you've got to kind of say that before the haircut yeah. starts mm. because you can't, I, as I was saying through the haircut process, you're getting rid of the fringe yeah. to create a crop. So when you're keeping a fringe in, that's how you do that to keep the, yeah. the length mm. in the front. Do you know what I mean? That's what I was saying to the start. Is that all right? We do that, you know? Um, obviously, you don't have to wear it down. You can still push little bits up and over and stuff and make it really textured, but you're not going to have like a fringe or, no, or no, nothing no, yeah. like that. Just so you know that, okay? Yeah. All right, cool, man. So, yeah, you, you don't want to go any shorter on the top? Uh, no, I don't think so. It will look a bit longer when the back and sides are cut yeah. as well, mm. just so you know, all right? So what we'll do, we'll put the fade in the back and side. I'll go to the height that the, the face shape tells me to, yeah. just to get the best out of your face shape, really. Um, and then you can tell me at the end whether you want to go a bit shorter, yeah. okay? Mm. I'll do to give the higher effect. I'm gonna drop it just a touch down the bottom there. But I'll do quite a, um, a sort of stretch blend. It always kind of works when you're going for that kind of high and tight. Because in that way you get a bit more scalp exposure on that sort of middle bit there without compromising on the face shape. So what's the, uh, the longest you've ever had your hair then, mate? So I grew it out for like five, six months into kind of like a slick back. Oh wow, nice, nice. But it didn't, it just didn't suit my, and <laughs> I didn't think it suited me at all. Oh really? Yeah. Just... What was it about the, the style that you didn't think suited you? What was it, was it just the shape of it or was it just like the, the actual style itself? Yeah, like? I, think, I, th I think it was, it was kind of a combination of both. The, like the sides were, kind of grew the sides out too, so they got to about like three months or so. Okay, did you have, you had your curls in there obviously as well, yeah? Is that again? You had your curls in there as well and that slick backy curls were quite apparent till as well. Um, no, it kind of got, because my hair's so thick, when I was kind of pushing it back, it kind of, you know, it was quite hard to, uh, to manage as well. Yeah, can be a hard one to manage, kind of, but it's, uh, brushbacks aren't always the easiest of style, especially if your hair texture doesn't suit it. I think as well, like sometimes just, a lot of haircuts don't always suit everybody's hair texture. And some people, some, sometimes you just can't have that haircut. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And maybe yeah. maybe the brushback just was that was that one haircut that didn't work for you, mm -hmm. you know? I would imagine though, if you like, I mean, what does your hair texture go like when it's longer? Does it, do you lose the curls, do you, or something? Or? Uh, no, it kind, of, it kind of stays curly and like the back was starting to kind of like, curl a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, and it was like, when it kind of went to plan in the morning, it looked like, it looked all right. But in the morning, in, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if I was in a rush or like, it would take like 15, 20 minutes to do. Oh, right, And okay. then by the time, you know, you get into work, if it's like windy, raining, it just looked like, <laughs> yeah. looked like I'd been like dragged through a hedge, yeah. like backwards by the time I got or into it. Or weather the, dependent here, yeah. basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the common that's the common theme, unfortunately. So I'll put the shaver on it now as well.
So do you find that the uh, the fade divides opinion amongst your friend groups? Like when you get like a really high in sight or do you find that like people still kind of compliment you on it and it's still kind of a popular haircut, what would you say? Um, yeah, I guess so. I think um, I've, had it, I've had it so many different ways, I think. Yeah. Everyone just gets used to it, gets like looking it, yeah. different every couple of months. Yeah, I, I'm just hearing a lot of like people obviously like, you know, fades are, I'm hearing the conversation, maybe it's just in, in here, but a lot of guys are kind of are, are sort of opting for a slightly less aggressive fade now, you know, they're yeah. opting for more tapers and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it's nice to sort of see that there still are like, I, I, I love these kind of, um, these kind of crew cuts and stuff like that, I think they're great, you know what I mean? Uh, especially if you keep the fringe natural and stuff like that as well, you know, and we don't kind of box that off and off and it looks really nice, you know? But I'm seeing a lot of guys are kind of, I don't know if the fade's starting to slowly go a little bit longer now, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Are you seeing much of that yourself? Are, you, are many of your friends still getting fades or is that starting to, would you notice that yeah, a lot of people Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, I tried, so I could try to taper uh, once when it was longer and it was kind of okay, but after my hair grows so quickly, after four or five days, it's not, like it's, it looks like it hasn't been cut. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 when you get a taper done, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it just didn't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I put the one guard on, lower the lever down to the half, so it becomes a one half, and I'm working up and off. So I'm trying to use the side of the head here to create that height that we want. So to give Aaron almost like a high and tight, a bit like, the picture that we looked at of uh, of Charlie, but obviously working within the parameters of the fit sheet that it allows me to do. So the difference is here, you see when I'm working up and off, if I went up and over, that's where it would change, sort of the angle where that is, but I'm working to that. So using the heel of the, the guard to allow that to happen. So as you see, I'm just pushing that hair up more than taking the hair away. And I'll close guard, working up to the one and a half. Lever back to the 0.5, working to the one and pulling away. By stretching that blend down, it gives a much harsher fade, but you still work within the face shape, which is good. Close guard. And in between. Just to refine. Like that's what you get. Aaron, do you see you're still building up squareness? But you've yeah. still got a lot of height on the sides there yeah, as well with nice. the fade itself. You get what I mean? Yeah. Just gives you a little bit more. I find a bit more of a harsher fade without it being like, yeah. uh, you know, it doesn't work for your face. And then we just refine with our minis. Like so. And we can use this comb, which goes to a two, to create my blend into the top. Don't forget, I've already cut in the shape. So I'm using the trimmer to be more refined. Just like that. So I'm going to do one side to make sure it works. Again, using the heel of the blade to work up and off like that. So I'm not going over, I'm coming up and off. So slow motion, in, out, like that. And then just using the head shape to keep that crown in play.
So one last cross check of the scissors, working down. Making sure we're working with the head shape as well, so keeping that corner in play. Right, so how is that length looking on top? Yeah, I think that's compared to the contrast good. with the sides and the back. Yeah, I think that's looking good. It's a good. big contrast, isn't it? You know what I mean? You see that? Yeah. That's what you're going to see. So you've got the length on the top. Obviously, if it was like, you know, Charlie's length on top, obviously there wouldn't be as much of a contrast because yeah. obviously it'd be a lot shorter. But that's the sort of high end height that I think yeah. works to show off as much scalp exposure as you can, but also yeah. still by keeping some length in the top yeah. at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it works really nicely, mate. So, would you like me to put a bit of product in there just to kind of uh, yeah, show what it could look like with a bit of texture, yeah? Okay, cool. I'll put a little bit of clay in there. So, clay is always a good one because obviously it gives you more of a matte finish, okay? But again, it just brings out more texture for you at the same time. There we go. So, you can really ruffle it up. Oh, nice. I have it like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I can see what you're coming from now. I panicked at the first. I was thinking, no, oh, no. you said you want to... You want to wear your fringe up? On that. No, no, I didn't mean like one, a, We haven't got a fringe anymore. <laughs> yeah, not like a massive <laughs> fringe over to the yeah. right or something. No, I get that. <laughs> I get that. Yeah, I was a little bit like, oh my god. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. So you can just wear it nice and ruffled, cool, nice, nice and textured, and that's kind of like what your sort of crew cut effect is because it is. It's a bit, probably a bit more of like a French crop, I would say. Yeah. If anything, you know what I mean. Crew cut is definitely like a shorter, yeah. more like shaved appearance. Do you know what I mean? But it looks good, I like it, man. Yeah. I think no, it looks really like nice. It. Yeah, I like it. Cool, mate. Right. 